hi guys welcome back to my channel um you know this is so weird guys i've been gone for a week because i post weekly and i didn't post last week school was hectic so to all my makeup girlies this video is for you okay and to anyone who enjoys watching makeup and not necessarily is watching it to learn this video is for you excuse my lighting guys i'm using natural lighting um so if my lighting is like um erratic please do um bear with me and say hi to alfie <laughs> so today i'll be doing my makeup i'll just be doing like a natural glam or natural look or an everyday kind of look a look that you would go out with if you don't feel like being extra no eyeshadow no dramatic lipstick just something cute and simple so if you want to see how i achieve that look please keep watching okay guys um i went ahead and i did my brows off camera so to shape my brows i used the la girl LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Pure Beige. If you guys can see. So since I'm not gonna be applying eyeshadow, I will be I'll just gonna conceal my eyelids and then put setting powder and then move on to my foundation. So yo guys, like honestly, I'm not okay. To be honest, I'm equal right. I need to write like uh, my energy is on 60% I don't know you I don't know so I'm gonna be using a beauty blender to um to blend out my concealer And then I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer using the Yardley Absolute Translucent um, Loose Powder. So, so to set my concealer, I'm going to be using this. Um, ooh, chow. Chow. I'll be using this same, like fluffy small brush. These brushes, I got them from this brush. I got it from Take A Lot from this brand i don't know if you guys can see it so i'm just gonna use it to apply um to apply powder on my eyelid applying powder so that my my concealer won't crease because it creases if you don't apply powder especially if you're not gonna apply any eyeshadow guys if you like if this part of my face looks like it's swollen i am like i am okay i am so for foundation i'll be using the wet and wild matte foundation in the shade caramel i'll just be using this one i know I, I normally mix two foundations but today i don't feel like mixing i don't know why so i'm just gonna apply this on my face and then blend it using a beauty blender I like um, spraying setting powder on my sponges when blending foundation, concealer, I don't know, I just feel like it helps with applying the product, setting the product like on my face, you know, <laughs> so I'm just gonna spray just small amount and your sponge needs to be, doesn't need to be hard, it needs to be like, you know, soft, smooth and just munchy, munchy, I don't know how to describe this. But you can just wet it a little bit and then so that it feels like so cute. So that it feels like, you know, like like a marshmallow. <laughs> Guys, 
guys i'm very bad at multitasking so i'm not gonna talk while i do my makeup because this video is gonna be literally two hours long <laughs> oh my goodness i hate myself make sure that you apply the foundation on your neck as well that is very very important Guys, I know that um, this thing of mine that I'm doing, applying um, the, the foundation with the applicator is very, very wrong. So please don't do it. Please don't do it. Make sure that when you are blending your foundation that you take your time. Take your time and blend, blend and blend. Yeah, boo. Say hello. 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 How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. I'll be using the same concealer I used to shape my brows. I got this, I got this beauty sponge from Mr. Price, yeah, it's so nice, I really, really, really love it. For concealer under my eyes, I like to let it sit a bit before actually blending it. I feel like that helps with the coverage and everything, yeah. When blending your concealer, don't drag your concealer to your baby hairs. Just keep it here. And then when you are blending the part, by the baby hairs or by your hairline just use the back part or any or if you're using a brush just use like maybe a clean brush to just blend it out and don't have that sharp sharp curve or sharp um, line where you can see where your concealer ends if I'm making sense in that way I'll be using this Revlon Candid um, Setting Powder in the shade 002 before I actually apply my um, loose powder. I feel like just applying the loose powder it makes my concealer crease and I don't like that. So I'm just trying out this new method. It's not new, but like I never usually mix the two. I only I usually apply them separately if you get what I'm saying. I'm going to use a bigger brush because it's a bigger area, of course. Okay, so I'm not going to I'm not going to brush out the I'm not going to brush out the powder. I'm just going to keep on blending it till it kind of like disappears. So now we're gonna move on to contouring. I'm not gonna contour like too much because it's a natural glam, keeping it simple, subtle, you know? So I'm gonna be using this Ella Girl Pro Conceal um, Concealer in the shade Toast, in the shade Toast.
and you blend it up you don't blend it down blend it upwards And then for my nose, I'm just going to use this brush. It's like, it's not straight and it's not too fluffy. It's just, I don't know how to describe it, but it works perfectly for my nose. It's like slanted in a way. Make sure you don't leave your, your concealer for a long time without blending it, please. And then I'm just going to brush it upwards towards my brows to give it that natural effect, that natural brow look. The lighting is buying. It's going away. It is buying. It is going. It is going. Bye lighting. Bye. Just to define my my contour, I'm just gonna apply a small amount of setting powder underneath. Okay, with the same fluffy brush, I'm just going to go over the areas that um, I, applied, I applied concealer just to, you know, blend it a little bit more. We are almost finished, guys. So I'm going to be using the Elizabeth Arden, Elizabeth Arden um, blush set comes in two shades and I'm gonna mix the two yo the lighting guys I'm so sorry yo I'm so so sorry I'm not gonna apply too much not too much <laughs> For highlighting, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild um, highlighter. I really love this highlighter, guys. Like, if you watch my 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 10 facts about me video, you know, you know I've been using this highlighter. Today I'll be using this 3-in-1 um, Yardley Makeup Setting Spray. Um, you can prime, you can set, you can refresh. I really, 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 really do like this um, setting spray. So I'm just going to apply it and then I'm going to quickly apply my lashes and then I'll come back with the final look. And the smell it smells so nice guys it smells really really nice setting setting spray just gives more definition to your makeup like i really 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 do love it Guys, I'm so, 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 so sorry about the lighting. I know that it sucks right now. And I don't want to use my ring light because 
now the video is gonna be like it's from two different times like this is gonna be not okay so anyways this is the final look guys i hope you guys can see it clearly <laughs> thank you thank you so much for watching guys um i hope you guys did enjoy the video and i am on the road to 1000 thugga, 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 thousand subscribers so please do make sure you like do make sure you comment and do make sure you subscribe please guys subscribe 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 i have a giveaway when we reach 1000 subscribers of course but anyways it's the end of the video i like in q and f thank you so much for watching bye